Thanks for joining us. A survivor of da Danny Heinrich is being called a hero and helping to solve the case. Uh, ten months before Jacob's abduction, Heinrich kidnapped 12 year old Jared Shirel and sexually assaulted him in nearby Cold Spring. Immediately after Danny Heinrich offered a chilling confession to Jacob's murder, he confessed to the crimes he committed against Shirel. At an emotional news conference right after that confession, Patty Wetterling thanked Jared and blogger Joy Baker for helping bring Jacob Wetterling home. Jared had the courage to stand up and say, this happened to me. Esme Murphy had an opportunity to speak with Jared. Esme, uh, I understand he really doesn't consider himself to be a hero. You know, he really doesn't, but people are calling him just that. The reality is that Shirel, a single father of three and a plumber from Painesville, put in hundreds of hours starting in 2014, tracking down leads that led to a review of his own case, Jacob's case, and a series of still unsolved cases in Painesville. Made eye contact. It was back in 2014 when Jared Shirel, after being contacted by blogger Joy Baker, went public with his story of being kidnapped and sexually assaulted in Cold Spring 10 months before Jacob was kidnapped. And told to run, uh, don't look back, or he would shoot. It was a relentless push by Shirel, Joy Baker, and the Wetterling family that pushed law enforcement to review the case after the 25th anniversary of Jacob's kidnapping. On Tuesday, Danny Heinrich appeared in court and confessed not only to the horrifying details of Jacob's kidnapping, sexual assault, and murder, but also to Jared's abduction and assault as well. I'm fortunate to be here. Today, Jared appeared on CNN with attorney Doug Kelly, who represents him and the Wetterling family. He also got a shout out from John Walsh, the host of CNN's The Hunt. And Jared went out and spoke to other victims and helped put the case together. Jared appeared on the show wearing a superhero t-shirt. It's been humbling and that's part of the reason I went with the Captain America shirt because the number of times I've been called a hero I thought I'd wake up this morning and say well you know I'm just gonna have fun with this and I'm gonna look the part. Now in July 2015 new DNA testing showed that Danny Heinrich was in fact Jared Shirel's attacker. That was the connection that led to authorities searching Heinrich's home last July and arrest him on child pornography charges. Now despite that DNA match, Heinrich cannot be prosecuted in Jared's case because the statute of limitations has expired. Yeah, a lot of people are frustrated by that, but considering the prosecutors uh, can't go after him for Jared's case. Why did Heinrich confess it anyway? And he confessed in detail. Jared's attorney, Doug Kelly, says prosecutors wanted Jared's case on the record so it could be introduced as evidence to get Heinrich civilly committed at the end of his 20-year prison sentence. So that was part of the plea. He had to say those things. Absolutely. He okay. did have to say that, and he had to confess to Jared's case as well. All right. Esme, thank you. Uh, keep watching CCO for continuing coverage of the Jacob Wetterling story.